Hello everyone. So in this video, I will discuss about automated DNA sequencing. So without any delay, let's start the video. So first, what is DNA sequencing? So as you know, DNA sequencing is a method by which you just determine the correct order of nucleotide bases in the DNA. So now let's discuss the procedure of this automated DNA sequencing. So this automated DNA sequencing, it based on the principle of single method of DNA sequencing or you can say the chain termination method or dideoxy method of the DNA sequencing. So here first we start with the DNA template. So this is the molecule of DNA whose sequence we want to know. So suppose this is the DNA template. Now in the first sequence what will we do? We will just add a fluorescent primer with this because as we know we are going to synthesize new DNA fragment for that we will require the DNA polymerase and DNA polymerase it require primer for the extension. So that's why we, here we are using the primer and this primer is fluorescently labeled so that it can be you can say automatically detected. Now once the primer has been attached after that what will we do we will divide this sample into four test tubes and in the in these test tubes we will add all of the four nucleotide bases like DATP, DCTP, DGTP and DTTP because they are required for the synthesis of new DNA. Now besides this we add dideoxy nucleotide triphosphate. If you know that dideoxy the do not has oxygen at the third and second position so that's why they cannot be uh, added in the DNA once they get added they will terminate the DNA synthesis process. So here in the first test tube we have dideoxy ATP then similarly in the second dideoxy CTP then dideoxy ZTP and dideoxy TTP. So what it means that whenever wherever wherever these dideoxy they will incorporate the DNA so they just stop the DNA synthesis and we will get the fragment. If you want to know more detail about the Sanger method or dioxy method so you can see my other video the link will be in the description. So now let's focus on the automatic DNA sequencing. So as you know now we have the four test tubes all of them have the deoxy nucleotide triphosphate and each of them has a specific dideoxy nucleotide triphosphate. So what will happen like in the first test tube we have dideoxy ATP. So what it means that wherever in the new strand this dideoxy ATP will incorporate it so it will break that fragment and we will get the fragment of specific length like here in the first you can see we have the fragment of this first fragment this is the second fragment and this is the third fragment how we are getting the fragment because if you look into the sequence of your template DNA so we have CTA so here you have to know that where we have T because this DDATP it is the complementary of thymidine so here we have T at the second position then at this position and finally at the last so now you can see we will get the fragment according to this thymidine because in the complementary DNA strand the thymidine there will be inserted dideoxy ATP. So here we have three fragments. First the last thymidine replaced by dideoxy ATP. Similarly the first one and so on. Similarly in case of DDCTP so we will get the fragment wherever there is a G in the template. So it will be you can say uh, it will be synthesized to the complementary sequence that is cytosine here. Here we have dideoxy cytosine triphosphate. So now where we have G we will get the fragment ended with the dideoxy CTP like you can see we will get these following fragments. Similarly in the case of DDGTP we will get the fragment complementary to the cytosine in the DNA template and similarly in the DDTP. So wherever we have adenine in the DNA template so we will get the fragment of DDTP correspond to that adenine. Now we have these fragments so what do we do in the automatic sequencing we just because the step up to this these are similar to the dioxy method and now what will we do all these fragments they are now subjected to polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis that is page here once we run the page so the fragments get separated according to their size now these have the fragments now keep in mind 
दिस डाइडियोक्सी फ्रेगमेंट दिस डाइडियोक्सी बेसिस विच वी यूज दे वर फ्लोरिसेंटली लेबल विद अ डिफरेंट डाई लाइक फर्स्ट दिस डी डी ए टी पी सो यू कैन सी हेयर इट इज शोन इन द रेड कलर सो यू कैन एज्यूम दैट इट इज लेबल विद अ रेड कलर डाई सिमिलरली दिस डी डी सी टीपी वॉज लेबल विद द ब्लू कलर डाई देन डी डी जी टी पी वॉज लेबल विद दिस मेजेंटा कलर डाई एंड दिस डी डी टी टीपी वॉज लेबल विद द ग्रीन कलर डाई सो हेयर वी यूज द फ्लोरसेंटली लेबल्ड डाई डिओक्सी न्यूक्लोटाइड ट्राई फॉस्फेट सो दैट आवर सिस्टम कैन ऑटोमेटिकली डिटेक्ट the color of these dyes so once we just you can say once we perform the agarose gel electro so it is polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis now we will use the instrument which will make a laser beam and now this laser beam will incident on this sample of this page sample now as the laser beam will pass through this page sample now this this laser beam is detected by the laser detector and this laser detector will now detect the color of the dyes of this fluorescently labeled di dioxin nucleotide triphosphates and it will generate automatically generate a chromatogram in this chromatogram we will have different peaks according to the different dyes like you can see here so we have different bars or you can say the peaks according to the color of dye and according and according to the fragment size like the longer fragment and shorter fragments so according to the size and their color they are now separated as you can see clearly here so if you read the sequence so you will get this sequence that is g a t t c g a g c t z a now keep in mind this sequence is of the sequence of newly synthesized dna not the template dna so in order to get the sequence of original template dna so you have to make the complementary sequence out of it so now you can clearly see the complementary sequence of this newly formed sequence is the our sequence of dna template now you can clearly see if you make complementary of this sequence like the complementary of this sequence so you will get this sequence which was our the DNA template sequence. So by this way, the, in automatic DNA sequencing, we just use the fluorescently labeled di dioxy nucleotide triphosphates, and with the help of laser beam, we can get all these fragments get separated, and a chromatogram will be generated by the computer. So in which you can simply say that the mostly work will be done by the computer instead like in case of tech, traditional uh, dioxy method or sanger method here where we use the auto radiography and directly labeled uh, dioxy triphosphates or dioxy nuclear triphosphates here we use the fluorescent labeled so there is low risk of reductive elements so this was all about the automatic dna sequencing guys hope you like it so that's over today guys see you in the next video